Welcome to Painless Financial Learning's Tip of the Week. What I'm talking about this week is the concept of equity, and the example I'm using is why you should buy a house and not a car. Now, I've been thinking about this because I recently bought a shiny red sports car. This car goes very fast, makes me laugh out loud, creates much happiness. However, it was not a financial decision. Okay? It is not wise to spend a bunch of money on something that depreciates. Buying a car is similar to throwing your money away because you are paying for something that is not going to hold its value. If you are the kind of person who only looks at, here's a bunch of money going out of my bank account every month, then you might think that making a car payment is the same as making a house payment. This is not true. Making a house payment is increasing the equity in your home. The equity in your home comes from you paying down the mortgage. The way we calculate how much your house is worth is what somebody else will pay for it. We calculate the equity as a difference between what your house is worth and what you owe on it. So every time you make a payment, you reduce the amount that's owing on it, therefore increasing your equity. And generally, houses go up in value. Over a time period like a 20-year mortgage, your house will go up in value. So you are putting your money into something that's going to be worth more money down the road, not a shiny red car. The shiny red car does not add any net worth to you. So if you're looking at your, your bank accounts and you see that most of your debt repayment is going to pay for things that are not increasing in value, you're not increasing your net worth. You could probably do better than that. See you next week. Thanks.